What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Tyson Fury former trainer Ben Davidson indirectly uh, exposes Tyson Fury, undefeated two-time heavyweight world champion British superstar boxer, uh, as he looked to put a rest to look to put to rest all of the glove gate and all of the um, accusations against Tyson Fury regarding uh, his gloves. Uh, ben Devinson does an interview in which he demonstrates uh, Tyson Fury's gloves. He says these are Mexican MX gloves, uh, Everlast MX gloves. And if you know anything about these gloves, when you get them, uh, they are um, not in the best of shape, essentially, is what he's saying. So he does a demonstration and he shows how the glove is flapping all around. He says, see, uh, this is just the type of glove it is. And he uses uh, a four-division world champion Mexican superstar boxer, Saul Canelo Alvarez, as an example. He says, when you look at Saul Canelo Alvarez against um, Liam Smith, you can see his glove is flapping around too. It's just the type of glove that it is. It comes uh, uh, already broken in, already worn in, right? That's number one. That's a problem, right? Because the gloves are not supposed to come already broken in. Uh, we saw just this past Thursday night when you had Oshaki Forster, 130-pound uh, uh, WBC silver, uh, silver champion superstar boxer. Uh, he took on Miguel Roman, and M Miguel Roman tried to use uh, Cleto Reyes gloves. And when he got the gloves, right, uh, the Cleto Reyes gloves had no padding in the knuckle area. So just because the gloves come like that doesn't mean that they are um, should be approved and that they're on the up and up. Just because they come packaged like that. So uh, Ben Davis was doing the demonstration, and in the demonstration, he's showing that, you see, I'm, these are brand new pair of gloves. Uh, these gloves are already, you know, uh, they're wrinkled up, they're crinkled up, you know, but they're tied up together. They're brand new out the pack. That doesn't mean that they should be used. That doesn't mean that they are on the up and up. That doesn't mean that the, the padding in the knuckle area isn't manipulated. That doesn't mean the glove itself is not manipulated for uh, one fighter to have an advantage. Point blanket period. The pattern should be distributed equally around the glove. The problem is the boxing commission only acts that the, the glove itself weighs a certain amount of ounces. So as long as the glove weighs 10 ounces, right, they don't care where the ounces is distributed. They just care about the glove just weighing 10 ounces, which is completely incorrect. Okay. So um, Ben Davidson lifts up the glove, right? And he was going to demonstrate with the glove. And what happened was when he lift up the glove, the glove did like this. So as soon as he lift up the glove to show the people this is a brand new glove, he couldn't hold it straight. The glove did like this. Okay, any boxing glove that you get that's brand new, when you hold it up, it's going to be stiff. It's going to be straight across, okay? That's not worn. That's brand new out the pack. It's going to be stiff. The glove itself is never going to just fall like this. Uh, that's, a, that's a glove that's already... Uh, broken in or it is um, uh, custom made for the fighter to have them already to a stage where they're, uh, uh, they're, they're quote unquote brand new, but they're, they're created for them to, to fit like they already broken in. That's the problem here, okay? So the, the pattern in the knuckle area is distributed into the wrist area. That's the reason why you see Tyson Fury having little to no pattern in the knuckle area in the pictures, okay? Uh, um, ben Davidson says, you can see on a, um, a couple of, uh, Ben Davidson goes, well, you can see on a couple of shots that everybody's taking uh, that the, um, the padding in the knuckle in the hand area. Now, look how when Ben Davidson is holding up the glove, okay? This is, the, this is when he's showing the first picture of when the glove is right, right out the box. Look how the glove, first of all, look how the glove is broken in. Let's just look at that. This glove is already broken in. Look at the padding in the knuckle. Look how thin the glove is, okay? And he went to show you that the glove should be going straight. This is a brand new pair. And look how the glove just, just fell. It went limp, okay? Like it had, no, it had no support in it. It immediately fell. It had no support. So what he's, then he tried to defend it by saying, well, this is just uh, this particular glove, and this is how the glove does. Here goes another angle of Ben Davidson doing it. He says... This is just this particular glove, brand new out the pack, and it, it just does this. If you look at this style of glove, this uh, uh, M MX Everlast um, uh, Mexican glove that are certified by the WBC, this is how they come brand new out the pack. No glove brand new out the pack should just be limp like that and just fall flimsy uh, when you take it out the pack. And it just, it just 
it has no no support to it because there's no pattern in 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 this in 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 this area. All the patterns up here, you can see it. So it's weighing it down, and so the front is not distributed evenly. So the pattern is here. So it's weighing it down, pushing it down. So there's no pattern up here. So this is just falling flat, right? So that you could tell. Look where his fist is. Look where his fingers are on the wrist area, and the whole glove is falling flat. This still doesn't give you a reason for why Tyson Fury's uh, glove bent all the way back in the fight. There's still no. Uh, um, there's still no. Uh, uh, um, explanation for Tyson Fury's glove to be bent at a 90 degree angle. There's still no explanation for that with his hands in the glove. No matter how flimsy the glove is, no reason that his hand should bend back with the glove. So if if the glove is flimsy, it's like a pair of pants, right? You hold up a pair of pants leg and, and of course you hold it up and the pants leg going to fall, right? But if you put your leg in the pants, just because the pants legs fall, don't mean when you put your legs in it, it's supposed to fall like that too. It didn't, it didn't uh, mold to the panting, okay? So with that said, you know, uh, there's no explanation for Tyson Fury's glove bending at a 90 degree angle with his hands in the, in the, in the, in the fist area. There is zero reasoning for that, okay? And there's zero reasoning for us to see Tyson Fury's knuckle print in these gloves. He's able to, to grasp things and grab things and hold things. Look at the pattern in his hand. You can see his knuckle print, one, two, three, and four, in the glove, okay? Look how flat the glove is in the front of it. That should never happen, okay? Uh, and and these... these as many times as they try to uh, uh, explain it, right? The more they try to explain it, the more they, they dig themselves in a hole, okay? There's no explanation for it. They're better off just saying, we didn't notice it. It's just that style of glove. Uh, and, and um, you know, um, it wasn't Tyson Fury fault. You know, it's just the style of glove, you know, and, 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 and place the blame on the doorstep of the glove. Here we see Tyson Fury in another fight. Uh, uh, against Christian Hammer, and the referee is kept telling Tyson Fury, look at this, Tyson Fury has no weapon in the, in the thumb to the glove area. Look at this, the, the referee stops the fight and tells Tyson Fury he has to change his gloves in the middle of the fight. And you can see there's no weapon, you can see the referee stops the fight and tells him, listen, these gloves have to be changed right before the first bell. Okay, so Tyson Fury, there's a history going on here with Tyson Fury having little to no padding in the knuckle area of his gloves. Okay, uh, now look, let's just look at uh, Leo Santa Cruz gloves against Javante Tank Davis. Look how solid his gloves are. Now that's when he was got hit, but look how solid Leo Santa Cruz gloves are. Right? They are not, uh, um, you know, uh, flimsy and flapping around. And he has on Everlast a uh, uh, pair of gloves. Okay. So there's no explanation as many times as they try to explain why Tyson Fury, <coughs> excuse me, why Tyson Fury gloves was flapping around. There's completely no explanation for this outside of the fact that uh, there was something, you know, uh, um, there was some tampering going on, point blank and period. You can't explain this. Zero, there's zero explanation. The gloves were manipulated. Thus, the reason why Tyson Fury was able to uh, have as much power on his punches and have as much uh, um, reaction, Deontay Wilder reacting to the punches because he was essentially hitting him with his uh, uh, his uh, wraps. Okay? Uh, and we see if you manipulate your wraps, uh, you could turn your wraps a la Antonio Margarito into, you know, a, a, a blunt object. Okay? So, when you look at Tyson Fury's glove, let's just look at this glove again. Okay, look at the front of his gloves. Look at this gloves. This is after the punch. This is, uh, I mean, excuse me, this is during the punch. Look how it's dented in right there in the front. And then look, you can completely see his knuckles and his, his fingers in the glove. That should never happen. Ever. Okay, that should never, ever happen. I don't care what style of gloves you have. I don't care if the Boston Commission approved of this. Like I said, the Los Angeles, the LA Boston Commission approved uh, Miguel Roman to wear a pair of gloves against uh, uh, Oshaki Forster this past Thursday night, and they had zero padding in the knuckle area uh, to the point where Oshaki Forster and his team caught it. The Boston Commission approved of it. Uh, everybody was on board and was going to allow him to wear these gloves, and Oshaki Forster 
uh, and his team caught it and said, no, absolutely not. He's going to have to switch his gloves. And so uh, he ended up wearing another pair. He Originally, the Boston Commission threw the pair of gloves out. They threw the gloves out because there was no patent in them. Now, this was a brand new pair of gloves sent from Cleto Reyes, who was certified by the WBC, to Miguel Roman. Uh, the Boston Commission originally approved of it. And afterwards, they said, okay, no, we can't use these gloves. Then they threw the gloves out, and they uh, stated that they, he was going to wear Everlast. Then they got another pair of Cleto Reyes gloves that had the pattern in the knuckle area that was similar in color and everything. So that means that they originally had the original pair, but they tried to get away with it. Uh, uh, and sent him the gloves with no pattern to see if it had slipped through. It got caught by uh, Oshaki Forster team. He had to switch it, so they immediately had a backup pair of the same exact pair, color and everything, conveniently on 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 deck with pattern in them. No, that wasn't convenient. They thought that they could get that pair to slip through, and when it didn't slip through, they had a a a, a um a, a a good pair on deck. And they gave him a good pair that was on deck, okay? Now, look at these gloves. Look at, look at Tyson Fury's gloves. And look at Deontay Wilder's gloves. Look how clean and smooth and, and padded and puffy they are to his glove. He looks like he's using an old uh, 1,400 glo pair of boxing gloves, okay? That should never bend, fold, and uh, flap around in that manner, a brand-new pair of gloves. They should never react in that manner. Now, let's look at Tyson Fury's gloves when he fought... Uh, um, Vladimir Klitschko, and Vladimir Klitschko chose Tyson Fury's gloves. And Tyson Fury was uh, not happy. He was actually upset with the fact that he had to wear the pair of gloves that Vladimir Klitschko chose him, which were Paffin Sports, and a brand that he said that he did not even like. He said he couldn't stand Paffin Sport brand of um, boxing gloves, yet he wore those Paffin Sport brand of boxing gloves in Deontay Wilder rematch by choice. Now look at these gloves. Look how clean and padded and smooth they are. When he had to, when Vladimir Klitschko chose his gloves, these are the pair of gloves that he had to wear against Vladimir Klitschko, right? This is Tyson Fury. You can see that's Tyson Fury. These are the pair of gloves he had to wear against Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko chose his gloves. They had the same glove on. You see how padded, well padded, and well the the um the um the weight is and the hair is distributed. The pattern is distributed throughout the glove, right? Did he did he ever hurt? Vladimir Klitschko at any point in time like he did Deontay Wilder? Did he ever cause as much damage and have the reaction that he had? No. Now look at these Path and Sports gloves that he wore against Vladimir Klitschko compared to the Path and Sport brand he used against Deontay Wilder. You see how shocked... This is, this is when they got announced. This is before the first bell rang. He didn't throw a punch yet. This is before the first bell. He's getting ready to come out the corner. Look at that pair of gloves and look at his gloves against Vladimir Klitschko. Look, before the first bell, these are Paffin Sports. Same brand gloves, right? Same maker. Look at the difference in those gloves because these are already broken in. These are already manipulated. Look at the wrinkles. They look like he'd been using them to hit the heavy bag for about a year. Look at the dent in the front, right? Now, let's look at the gloves he used against Vladimir Klitschko. Look how smooth, how padded they are. Same brand, Path and Sport gloves. Just different colors. This is red with the gold, right? These are green with the gold. Same gloves. Look at the, look at, look at the difference. Need I say more? Need I say more? So, Ben Davidson, you're indirectly putting that brand new glove up and letting it fall like this and, and f fall into the ground? with no support, indirectly exposes Tyson Fury gloves. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or on Word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D. B, C, shout out to New Media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.